This is the video about subway and how to cut the waiting lines. Hi all, our group will be working on to improve the operation in our very own subway located in the hub. And the problem subway is facing right now is with the long queues. In this video, we'll be working on um, some ways and techniques to improve the production line. And let us get some data right now from the subway's manager. Okay, let's start with the first question. Robert, uh, when is usually the busy hour? Between about 11.20 and 2.40. Oh, okay. And do you know uh, what is the customer arrival rate? About 130 to 140 an hour. question is, what is the average service time for a customer? The goal is to get uh, a customer served within two minutes of them placing their order. And we, we do well in, in that. The question is, what's the average waiting time during the peak hour? It really can vary uh, depending on how well we're staffed, uh, but I, I would say five to ten minutes. It, it can vary if we have if we're well staffed. If all the students have shown up for work, uh, we've got enough hands to move the line fast. Okay, and you have two counters. Right? The question is, how many servers do you have during peak hours and non-peak hours? Between the two lines, I have nine people uh, staffed during the peak hours. And uh, I've been here 10 years, and I've tried as many as 12. And it, it ends up uh, not being uh, financially smart to have as many as 12. You may think, well, the more people you have, it's going to move it faster. It will a little, but it ends up actually also not paying for itself oh. by having too many people. If I have 10 people on a site, oh, it'll move fast, but you can't afford it. You're going to go on. Yeah. And so I found that 9 to 10 people is the most, uh, you know, five, four to five uh, per side. Uh, and I'm usually uh, over there stock, being the back stocker oh. to keep those people serving. Yeah. So you could count me as one more person. So it'd be okay. instead of 9 to 10, it's really like 10 to 11 with me in there. Oh, okay. And then, um, What's the strategy that you use to cut down the waiting time? Well, staff as many people as we can afford to pay, you know, afford to staff. Uh, put staff for their best use. So, I mean, uh, when we have people who are, can greet, take the order faster, we have them there. And, and so we put people in a position where they move the fastest. And uh, you do uh, be doing no prep during the rush, you have all hands on deck, everybody's making sandwiches, and uh, that's basically the strategy I use. <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, as you can see from the interview, this, these are the data we have collected. If you see, uh, this data is collected between 11.20 to 2.40, which is the peak hours, and the average arrival time we have calculated is 135 persons for every hour, and the average service time one server can handle is two minutes per person. And the average waiting time is five to 10 minutes. And there's only two, two number of servers in the subway. This is actually the lambda. And this would be 30 per hour for the mu. This would be the number of servers, M. With this, we can calculate the server service utilizations. The service utilization should be 135 divided by 2 times 30. And that would give us 2.25. This number means 225%. So the servers will handle uh, 2 times service more than they, they can handle. This is clearly the reasons why the waiting line is so long. And next, let us look for the solutions to solve the problem. So our group came up with two ways to improve the production line in Subway. First, let us take a look at the old data. First, we have the M, which is 2. The lambda, which is 135 per hour. The U, which is 30 per hour. So right now, we decide to improve on by adding two more persons in a cashier to improve the production line. So by adding two persons, that means we have four servers right now. So let's take a look at this picture. This is the subway, which, is, which has two cashier. And by doing so, the optimizations of this cashier 
is 225%. By adding two more cashier, it will actually reduce the, the utilization by using this formula. So the utilization is decreased by half, which means that every employee have 100% of utilization, which means that there is no waiting line. Hence, by adding two more cashiers, which means that we can reduce the utilization by half to 1.125. So this is actually reduce, tackling the bottlenecks, which actually reduce the utilization. So right now, I will pass on to Melissa to discuss to you with the second method that we come up with. Alright, so the second method that our group came up with was to decrease service time. And one of the methods was to introduce a pre-order form, which uh, you can involve the customers to check on the boxes that they would like, like vegetables, lettuce, or tomatoes, and pass it to the servers while they are making the bread. So that speed up the process of making the sandwich. And um, a second method would be to remove the soda machine to be outside the subway uh, counter. Currently, um, the cashier actually serves drink and pass transaction that causes a, a bottleneck in the time to serve. And hence, by having the soda machine to be outside, the customer could actually serve themselves with the drinks. And one, and that results also in having uh, our meal to be 60 per hour, which will decrease service time by half. And so hence, the utilization would be 135 over 60 times 2, 1.125. Currently, the cashier is actually passing the transaction and also serving the soda drink to the customer. And that causes a longer service time of two minutes. Therefore, uh, our groups actually suggested to move up the soda machine to be outside the counter and hence cause, uh, involving the customer to actually serve themselves with the drink. And that perception of uh, having them to involve. Subway currently have the cashier to pass transaction of the customer and also serve the soda drink for the customer. Um, one way to reduce the service time was to actually move out the soda machine to be outside the counter, involving the customers to actually serve themselves with the drink. And therefore it will uh, decrease the service time. For our current situation, we have a lander of 135 per hour and a meal of 30 per hour. So by actually having um, pre-order form and introducing the soda machine to be outside, we assume that the lander will decrease to half, which actually leads you to 60 per hour. And therefore, our system utilization will be 135 over 60 times. This uh, decrease in the utilization will definitely decrease the service time. In conclusions, our team came up with two decisions, which is first, to in increase the number of servers, which is the M. Second, is to decrease service time, which is the mute. So by doing so, we can actually fully utilize each server to do their job more effectively. So thank you for your time.